Yo, what it do? Welcome back to another episode of Three Wands, where knowledge is given to you for you to turn into wisdom. It's Lord Shu back with another one. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, family. Please like this video, comment, and share. Let somebody know what's up. Lord Shu want to help the people. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Lord Shu, and also subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and like this video. So let's get back into what we was talking about the past few episodes, the seven core universal laws. Last episode, we talked about the law of rhythm. This episode, we're gonna talk about the law of cause and effect. So the last episode, we talked about the law of rhythm. The pendulum swing to the right is the same as the pendulum swing to the left. There's, there is patterns in nature that exist in all things. And once you start to realize and understand how to utilize these patterns, you begin to come in sync with the universe and nature itself. So, today we're gonna to talk about the law of cause and effect. Cause and effect. I will grab Hybrid Manual and we're gonna read an excerpt from the Emerald Tablets of Thoth straight out of Hybrid Manual. You can download this magazine for free at my website, shoelovesrebels.com, or you can go to amazon.com and just type in Lord Shoe Hybrid Manual. So, the universal law of cause and effect. Every cause has its effect. Every effect has its cause. Everything happens according to law. Chance is but a name for law, not recognized. There are many planes of causation, but nothing escapes the law. So what does it mean, Lord Shu? Please, I need answers. For everything you do, there's a consequence. And consequence exists because of what you do. There can't be one without the other. It's kind of like the law of rhythm, compensation. Actions are compensated by consequences and vice versa. So what you decide to do today whether it be tomorrow that the consequence takes place, but just know in the near future or sometime in life, in your lifetime, there will be a consequence for that thing. How can I use this in my daily life? Number one, you can almost use the law of cause and effect to tell the future. Just takes a little bit of awareness. So number one, awareness. Two, make sure that anything that you do is in your life path is aligned with who you are as a person because once you do that action know that because of the universal law of cause and effect there will be a consequence and number three anything that you decide to do in your life practice it but practice it in knowing that every time that you perform an action you will become better at it and then you're able to know the consequence. Those are pretty much three things that you could do in your everyday life to practice the universal law of cause and effect. And that's it for today's episode, y'all. I'm Laura Shu. If you like this episode, please like, leave a comment that you love me because I love you or that there's something that you think I can make better on the channel. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're a newbie. I'm out, y'all. Holla!